So why do I live in a van? I talked in a recent video about why I am a nomad, and I noted in that video that there's a distinction between nomads and van dwellers. What I mean is this. Some nomads choose to live in vans. Some van dwellers are nomadic, but some are not. Some people live in vans and stay in one city all the time. They may have whatever their reasons may be for choosing to live in a van, uh, whether it's, it's the, the mobility or the ability to change neighborhoods or the ability to uh, uh, you save, save money on rent. The point is they're staying in one place. Other van dwellers are traveling around all over the place. That's one of the reasons they're doing it. Okay, I'm a nomad first and foremost. The van dwelling comes second for me. Um, before I got on the road full time, now I've been on the road traveling as much as I could all my life. I've done it part time, uh, you know, vehicle dwelling. I've done vehicle dwelling and van dwelling full time on a temporary basis several times over the years. When I got on the road full time, uh, approaching two years ago now, I had to make a decision about how I was going to pursue my nomadic interests. And I eventually settled on van life. For, for now, at least. Uh, it may not be permanent, but for now at least. But I'm a nomad, and so I had to make the decision, how do I want to fulfill that nomadic interest, the tendency? And there are a number of ways that people can do that. Uh, there are there are van dwellers, obviously. That's one way, and you can travel around. Uh, there is the RVing crowd. That's, that's more expensive. It's, it's the gas the cost of the vehicles, the gas mileage, the maintenance costs. You're limited to where you can get those things. Um, I go into places with a minivan. You couldn't get an RV. And, you know, there are people with cargo vans uh, who can go even more places than I can get with a minivan. So, I, so there's van dwelling. There's also uh, nomads who, who may or may not have a car, and they travel around to different cities in the U.S. and stay in Airbnbs or temporary rentals, and they just change cities periodically, uh, and, and they might again might work like me i'm a digital nomad i work wherever i am they might do the same in many of them, the cases they are doing the same they're working wherever they go uh there are nomads who travel internationally they they travel to inexpensive generally inexpensive destinations um uh you know thailand bali a few other mexico places that are inexpensive uh um to with the dollar exchange is good so it's inexpensive for uh, america to live with american dollars and uh, again, in many cases, they're digital nomads and work while they're there. As a digital nomad, all you need is electricity to power your laptop and, uh, you know, internet connection to connect with clients. And that is really that simple. If you have skills that are in demand and can be done uh, online, you can do them anywhere. So, so you can do it as a van dweller. You can do it as a, a nomad bouncing around between cities in the U.S. You can do it as an international nomad, a global nomad. So why did I choose van dwelling? Well, I looked really seriously at the international end of things. So I really want to travel more because I'm a nomad. I want to go see new, more places. Ultimately, I decided, you know, there's a lot of this country I had yet to see and explore. Even though I'd been many places, been to many of the states, there's plenty I had not yet seen and that I wanted to explore. So I decided to focus first on traveling around this country. And and so there was, that was easier in some ways to get started and it was less risk in terms of getting started if I had some hiccups financially because worst case if I have some problems with work or something it's going to be easier to find work here in the U.S. where I'm a citizen. But I decided to start with van dwelling here in the U.S. as a no to fulfill my nomadic interests because I felt like the barriers to entry would lower and it was a little bit safer to get started. I do still have interest in doing some international travel and, and, and working as a digital nomad globally. I started off in a car, Toyota Camry, because it's what I had and I wasn't able to uh, replace it at the time I was ready to get on the road. And then from there went into a cargo trailer and now I'm in a van. I have a 2003 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. Uh, it's pretty high mileage, so it's going to have to be replaced eventually. Uh, but I'll probably, hopefully, stay with the van thing, or or maybe eventually into a short school bus. Uh, con that I'll convert. Um, but the van is kind of the best of both worlds, if you will. It gives you transportation. It gives you a little bit of space in the back to set up a living area. You can carry a little more stuff with a little more comfort than you can in a car. So I'm in a van. I'm living in a van because 
it seems like a good balance of options when it comes to the vehicle. It's always a trade-off of different things like gas mileage, comfort, convenience, space, off-road ability. Uh, you know, there's, there's all these, these and other things come into it, it and you have to balance them. So a van seems like a good balance. And so uh, I'm in the van because it's a good balance for vehicle dwelling. I'm doing vehicle dwelling in general, van life in particular, because I'm a nomad and I want to, I decided to explore the U.S. first. And when I've explored this thoroughly, then I'll consider if I want to, uh, you know, look at other options. As a nomad, there are different ways to do it. Right now, van life works for me. It allows me to travel around this country. It allows me to easily uh, migrate between seasons, between, you know, follow the weather. It allows me to easily migrate to visit family and friends as I choose. So that's why I'm in a van. I think it's the best deal for me right now. Uh, I may do a different vehicle in the future, and I may do a different style of nomadic life in the future. I may ditch the vehicle and hop uh, you know, location to location using public transport and renting temporary housing. I may, uh, you know, go for the whole international thing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what I know is that I like to change my at uh, window view uh, routinely. I don't like to be anywhere for more than at most two or three months. Um, sometimes less than that, but definitely not more than two or three months, and I'm really chafed by that point. So for now, van dwelling provides a good balance for me of a way to satisfy that nomadic itch while uh, balancing it with being, a, being a cost effective, you know, affordable, and able to, to do things that are important to me, like see family and friends and things. So it works out well for me for now. May not do it this style forever, but the nomad thing I think is here to stay. <laughs> Been here my whole life. So, so I hope this is uh, you know helpful to you. If you're thinking about getting into a van or you're wondering why do people live in vans, this is why I live in a van because it allows me to satisfy my nomadic urges. Um, other people, you know, maybe it's more about money or it's more about, uh, uh, you know, other things like that. But for me, it's primarily because it allows me to satisfy my nomadic urges. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.